All right, so where are we? You know what? I need to save this thing. All right, so... Aptitude test. So let's start at the end of the street, I guess. Maybe we need to phone the chief. So I don't really know what else to do right now. Nobody's going to answer. All right, so let's go talk to my boy here. It's pretty much the only one I haven't talked to about this stuff. A couple more questions, if that's okay. Do you know anyone who is interested in or involved with devil worship? Have you met Lisa? Which Lisa are you talking about? Mad Lisa. Lives on her own, doesn't like mirrors. Yeah, yeah, I've met her. You think she's mad? You can't look at yourself in the mirror without seeing ghosts. You've got problems, don't you think? How do you know her? She came to the farm for some eggs a couple of times. I got talking to her once, that's all. And what did she tell you? Nothing much. Except she thought the devil was after her. What did you tell her? Told her the devil needs a good reason to be after you. She was just like most people, really. Blind to herself. Except she's more extreme. That's all madness is. Being blind to yourself. Lisa visited the farm a couple of times. Anything that he could have said. Wait, for eggs? For eggs? Doesn't grow any other drugs. I don't think that has anything to do with each other. This looks like the devil was after her. Be back later on if that's okay. For eggs. We have to find Lisa. She says she was going out. I'm just going to look in all these little nooks and crannies.
Well, isn't that interesting? Hmm. A few more questions, please. Thank you. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh, they're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many. He's a friend of the family. Painkillers. Now, didn't she say she never took any drugs? She's the one who said that, right? Salvia. This right here. Doesn't take any drugs or medicines. Interesting. Aha. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me, they're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. He's a an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, isn't he? He doesn't have it badly, but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. So Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. I think I might have a word with him, work out exactly what this medicine is. Thank you. Probably be back later. And we'll walk down the path just in case to make sure there's nothing in the woods. Make sure nobody's doing something they ain't supposed to be doing. Don't need to talk to... One thing gets me is that they were talking about Simon. I wonder why. Nothing. Tell him about Simon. All right, we'll go into the atrium. We'll go in the reading room first, see if there's anything going on. Probably not, though. Nope. Ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> That's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector, and sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Understand. Uh, 
Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. Hard to hold small objects. See if anybody's in the kitchen. Talk to Simon. Simon? Probably nothing important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. Alright, what I get? A uh, key ring drop by Simon? Business card drop by Simon. Broadway Industrial Estate. St. Bernard the Methone. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. about Ryan's arthritis. Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. I don't need it. Enough. I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, 1905? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's just that's just a, a pin for something. It's okay, I can remember it. So, not an offshore savings account or anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's... Uh, it, it's not important. Is this yours? Yeah. That's from my keys. Where did you find it? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit too trusting, really. It's a new car as well. What a pin on the back. Owns a new car. Well, then, where's the car? Bike is the only way Simon gets to work. But he owns a car. Aha! So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. At Atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. 
the laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. It doesn't sound like they're taking their security very seriously. Uh, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Must have been a very nice laptop to be able to buy a car with the insurance. Or a very cheap car. Might have to have a talk with Ryan about his security measures. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. Did you know about Ryan Rand's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. Have you seen this before? Um, no. Sorry, never heard of him. She had an affair with a guy, so she would know if he has arthritis. And what do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this for him when we were on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. He can't keep anything. Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now. When I let him. Use Simon's laptop for her car's work, buy a new laptop for them both. So he did not use a payout. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. You got the money somewhere else. Question is where? Ask about a few more things, please. Have you seen this before? No. Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. Be back later on, if that's okay. One nine zero five. Wait. Oh, okay. So I can't do it again. All right. Let's talk to the old bastard who was a mean as a couple more questions, if that's okay. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, keeps prescribing it for him. So you don't believe he really has arthritis? Not at all. Do you know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have uh, some prisoner of a sort who does our IT. Large guy. No manners. Seen this before anywhere? No. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? I know I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. 
Hmm. Ryan pulled his back a year ago. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. Questions, please. Recognize this at all? Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. Oh, ho, ho. you lying, son. Seen this before? Don't think so. Doesn't think he lives locally. But I know there's nothing that I can actually... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Thank you. Probably be back later. Guess we're going back to talk to my man. I ask you a couple more things, please. Has arthritis in his hand. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. All right, so. We've got to catch him in something about this arthritis. I know it. This is a lot of drugs or alcohol onto Alice premises. But you said that you keep painkillers at work and home. Oh. Hmm. I could have swore that they said something like that they couldn't like oh doesn't keep any medicines aha uh -huh. so you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas no except your prescription painkillers well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. <coughs> what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers, 
Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. Paracetamol. Codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them, or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Storeroom, but you just said the storeroom isn't secure. Aha. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Okay. So where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Combination. I have to go combination upstairs and look combination. I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. Um. Card. Welcome to the Mirror Room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed Module 1. Module 2 covers boundary testing, threshold testing and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. Our main target is Simon now. Why did Simon have that combination? A few more questions, if you don't mind. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. But you don't know the combination? No. Didn't know the combination, but he says he wrote pin. Aha. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except... You'd written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. 
You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, to find out? It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, OK. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We, we both tried to morph in. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. So that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? Eleven o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. Hmm. All right, so we figure out how she had morphine in her system when she died. And we figured out that Simon's the one that gave it to her. That's about it. Gotta keep going, man, because I'm still no closer to figuring out who did it. To figuring out who 